Hey everyone, it's raining again today, um, and that's okay, whatever. Um, so today I wanted to talk about my experience in holistic healthcare because um, it's been really beneficial for me and I've been, I wanted to make this video like a month and a half ago when I started going but I was like wait no let me because I'm very um, very quick to fall for something so I was like let me like wait um, let me wait a little bit and then we'll figure it out I'll see if I really like it or not and so I went and, um, and now I'm making this video and I wanted to share my authentic and thought out um response to this so okay so first of all um i know it's like really really important to like get a job with uh oh my gosh i got a job so that means you know i have benefits and health insurance but um in every single health insurance is based off of the what is it, medicare guidelines um, and I took notes because I know I'm not like a scientist or a genius or like a, um, a doctor or anything like that. And I, I'm not pretending to be. I'm just, um, I'm a patient. <laughs> I'm, uh, and I'm an uh, avid enthusiast of uh, wellness. So, every single um, health insurance uh, policy is based off of the Medicare guidelines. Uh, in the United States, at least. I can only speak for the United States, um, which is a total load of BS. Uh, basically, they want to keep you in the middle, um, so where you're not costing them a ton of money. They don't like people that have um, terminal illness uh, or really expensive conditions. Um, because that will cost them a ton of money and they don't they don't want to put out the money and they don't like healthy people either because um, Then they don't make any money. So they their aim is to keep people in the center. So they're like Sick and the medical industry the uh, pharmaceutical industry is severely tied with the um, With the health insurance industry because they just they just want to make money off of people They don't care if you're well or not. They don't see you as even a person like them They just see you as you know a way to make money and that's fucked up and that's not okay And I am not I don't support that at all um, so and I wanted to read to you one of the Medicare guidelines. Uh, this is section 2251.3. And every single healthcare policy is based off of these guidelines. And it's literally, I can't even believe that it says this, but it literally says, A treatment plan that seeks to prevent disease, prevent disease, promote health, and prolong and enhance the quality of life, or therapy that is performed to maintain or prevent deterioration of chronic condition is deemed not medically necessary they're literally saying it's deemed not necessary to prevent disease promote and enhance the quality of your life that's not necessary because they don't want to do that that's not that's not their that's not their goal and that's not what they you know that's not what they aim for they want you to not feel well so you come to them and say oh yeah like here's $25 copay so I can go to the doctor and like go get some medicine that will you know keep me diseased fuck that so I'm choosing to not be a part of that um and so with that I started going to the holistic uh, chiropractor and the reason I go to a chiropractor not a uh, like medical uh, doctor of sorts is because you're and I tried to like have my sacred mirrors out but they didn't have he didn't like do a really great example of what I wanted to show you so um I'm just going to explain it with my words and try my best <laughs> so basically your spine um our skull um contains our brain and our brain um send is sends the signals to the rest of our body uh for what we need so like and literally anything um but the way that the signals get to the rest of our body is through the spine um and so if your spine is not in optimal health then it's not sending the message correctly and to its you know maximum capacity it might just be getting a little bleep and so that you know that would cause problems everywhere that would cause like I mean for me it caused like menstrual problems you can you can get like um pains in your legs like literally any disease start at the spine that's like the root of it so um so spinal health is really important um 
from the way I see it. And I also, I think it's really important for me to say I'm not against the, um, the healthcare industry um, as it is. I'm not against, you know, pain management. Fortunately, I've never been in a situation where I need to take... Um, take medicine as like a coping mechanism but I totally I totally understand um you know people that do need to deal with that and I think it's really important to just know when you know enough is enough and say all right you know I'm I just keep taking these pills taking these pills and taking more of these pills and more of these pills and my I'm you know I'm not getting better it's just it's almost seemingly worse and um and that's that's not that's not health care, you know, that's sickness management and it's not, it's not, it's not going to produce a healthy society and, um, a well being. Anyway, so basically, um, I thought that I was going to, I mean, I've always kind of like had back problems and, uh, my New Year's resolution this year was to start doing yoga regularly, and I have been, yay. I'm so grateful, and I kind of just felt like that um, that was helping me and making my back feel better. Um, but when I went, they give you, first they give you a like heat thermal scan, so basically when any of the discs are inflamed between your, your spine, it causes a difference in temperature. And with a thermal scan of your spine, you can see uh, where there is a difference and then you can, um, and you could, you know, measure the intensity of it and uh, you can see like what's going on or get an estimate of what's going on. So I think I have, so this, this is what I got. Oh, look, that's cool. I found it. Oh my gosh, there's so much paper here. Cool. Um, I wonder... Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> so, so this is... Mine. This is not what you want to see when you get your... You want it, there to be, like, n basically no lines. And if you could see, like, the white... I think the white is A-OK. -okay, like, down there, A-OK. -okay. But you see all the rest of the red. That is... the That's... A huge difference in the um in in your spine and that's you know that it's not good for your body to be in so much pain so um and if you can see like each each of these go to a different place um in your body and so they nicely like labeled it for me and then they gave me like what you know what each um what each point goes to in the rest of your body so for example you can see let's see what the worst one was the worst one for me was c1 and that is actually the most important the most important um piece of your spine because that literally connects your brain stem to um the rest of your body um and it has to be at a certain angle otherwise it'll be cutting off look this is my head oh <laughs> look you can actually see my nose ring <laughs> um, so if you see this is the top one right there and it has to be at a specific angle um, it should really be at 42 degrees and it's only at 1.9 degrees now this was a month ago over a month uh, no actually literally almost a month ago today so um, so I feel like since I've been in, like getting treated for this, that it's it's okay, and I'm getting better and better and better every day, and I'm really, really, really happy with. Um, <gasps> oh, it's just water. <laughs> um, I'm really, really happy with what's what's um, what's happening. But if you could see C one, so you can like kind of. Oh, Photoshop. Okay. Um, so if you can see like on here you would just like match it up and see so um c1 and um c1 is goes to um it's the blood supply to the head pituitary gland scalp bones of the face brain and inner and middle ears sympathetic nervous system and eyes and so and then they give you the effects of like 
what um what would you know like what what would happen and it says like headaches migraines nervousness insomnia head colds nervous breakdowns anxiety uh difficulty concentrating ear infections hormonal problems menstrual difficulties depression brain fog low iq low resistance to disease and low overall brain function and digestive disorders so that's a mouthful but that's like that's how important this one bone is the c1 atlas that's how important this bone is because it controls all of that and if it's you know if you're not getting the juices down to the rest of your body then you know you're going to suffer and you're going to feel it and it's not going to be a fun a fun life so get your spine checked everyone what i've been doing and i have to pee now so i'm going to go but um what i've been doing um is i've been going about three times a week and um it's really 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 beneficial i feel so much better i literally like i mean it's it's like braces so i mean yeah there is a little bit of pain um but things are going back to where they're supposed to be and i feel such an insane amount of clarity and um that's that's what i aim for clarity so bye guys i love you get your spine checked and uh be well